Greetings and welcome to Harvest Life. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, thank you very much to the developers of this game for granting me a key to play it today. Um, I was kind of looking after Graveyard Keeper Alpha kind of ran out of content. I was looking for another kind of a farming game, and this one came up on my list, so I would like to just try it out with you today. I did practice just a little bit just to see what it's like, so you will see my profile here. But we're going to start a brand new game. Yes, delete the profile, and we're going to start a new character. Oh, we have all kinds of peoples here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Aha, there we can go. We can actually do preference male or female. And then just, I, I'm not sure which one of these affects this. This looks like it affects the body type here. Gosh, they're all so cute. I like their clothes. I like her too. That's one I chose for my practice game. Let's choose her. I like her. And we're going to be named Catherine. I don't know where I got that name from. Anyway, we can also choose the names of the different NPCs in the game here. Some very curious names here. Fronica. <laughs> Funky. Olivia. Lily. Eva. Fronica. Let's go with Fronica. Postman is going to be Merlin. <laughs> I like that one. Let's go with Merlin. Oh, you can you can type it in yourself. And grandfather, how about Marcel? Okay, that sounds good. So, I've arrived at Lowald. I haven't been here for over 10 years. Since when I was a kid, sure hasn't changed at all. My grandpa sent a letter to ask me to come over and help him with his farm. Isn't that the way it always goes? I was reluctant at first because Lowald is still very rural and underdeveloped. I'm guessing she's worried about, like, no internet. But as a kid, I loved to come here during summer holidays and I haven't seen my grandpa in ages, so I decided to visit and help him. Welcome to my humble farm. Well, your farm, in fact. My farm? Like, we got a house key. Nice. Yes, I told you in the letter, didn't I? Since my accident with the tree, I'm in no condition to take care of the farm. I tried to sell some parts of the farm and some of our livestock, but it didn't work out. I've gotten too old. It's already late. Go to sleep in the farmhouse. I bought a small house in the city from the money I made from selling part of the farm for myself. The bed is very comfy. You're sleeping well. Night. Press escape to wake up. Okay, so the time is ticking away here. Let's go ahead and wait until our energy refills to full. There we go, and then we'll wake up automatically. Okay, what do we got here? Here we have our plotting table. Now is not the time. No, no. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Today you've got a lot to do. Meow. We have a cat. Help, help! There's a cat stuck on the tree! You've got to help the cat get off the tree. Again, she keeps coming here and always gets stuck on a tree. The only way to get her down is to cut down the tree. <laughs> yes, we're not calling the fire department. We're not calling anyone who might have a ladder. We are cutting down the tree. <laughs> but this is a good opportunity. Here, take this axe. When you cut down trees, you get wood and occasionally they drop apples to eat. Okay, so we're going to cut down this tree here. Going to whack at it good can take some chops until you got something, something, something. It, it takes a couple of chops to get the tree down. Uh, and then we have the cat. Yay, oh, she seems to like you. Maybe she wants to stay on the farm. Do you want to give her a name? Yes, we'll give her a name. We're going to call her Minty, after my Araminta. Okay, continue. Oh, before I forget, you have to use the axe beside me to chop the wood into logs, or you can't sell them to your customers. Cut the wood into logs now, but be careful. Don't cut your apples. All right, so we're going to click on this thing, and then this is like a little mini game. Um, there was like, what was it called? Fruit Ninja or something? Some game like this? Um, okay. Okay. Now, I was going to tell you something, but we're going elsewhere. Next step is a field. You can plant vegetables on the field. Switch seeds with your right mouse button. Plant some carrots with a left click. So here is what we actually have selected, and then we can change it with the right click. So let's just go ahead and do this. You have to water the fields daily. If it's not raining or or vegetables won't grow. Some vegetables take longer, some less. On top of your inventory, you can see how much water and fodder you carry and how much electricity you currently have. Okay, so here is the water and here is the fodder on the right, which we have none. Now the most important part, taking care of your animals. 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. You can... Okay. Okay, you can generate fodder with this thingy. And you can generate electricity with the generator. You have to do it manually, though. Here, take these carrots and use the fodder production machine to produce fodder. As you can see, your fodder display on top of your inventory has filled. There it is, right there. I, I don't actually like this tutorial very much because you don't actually see the inside of the machine and I found it kind of confusing when I went back there. Now we can get uh, water from the river. Troughs can be filled either with water, left click, or fodder, right click. Okay. Coops are working similarly. They always have two troughs. Each coop can take up to six chickens, which automatically stay close to it. So he's just saying the chickens stay around the coops and that's where you can gather the eggs uh, as you walk around the fields. Okay, now I want to show you only one more stage, your shop. And that is this thing. Okay. Here you can store all of your items as inventory is limited to three different items. From time to time, customers from the city will come and automatically buy from your storage if the requested item is available. Keep an eye on the displays in the top right corner. They show how tired and hungry you are. You can eat apples and vegetables you're carrying or berries straight from the bushes. You can even eat raw eggs if you're desperate. Here are some of the initial tasks. Come to me and I'll give you further tasks. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to put our logs in storage here. So we're going to just, we have two in storage. So we're going to say stock 10. You can also do it one by one if you like. Uh, we're also going to put our apples in, in storage here if we can. Go ahead and put them for sale in case people want to buy them because why not? Okay, let's, um, we don't want, these are berries and you can't store berries or sell them. So we're going to wait till our food meter goes down a little bit. So, all right, let's go to our field here and we need to plant four carrots. So it's already selected here. Two, three, and four. I should just water them as I go along. You can kind of like plant water all in uh, two clicks there. And I want to plant some other things too. Oh, we have to plant one more carrot. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Now, maybe some uh, lettuce stuff. Okay, when we irrigated a field. And then the third one will have maybe a pumpkin. Let's grow a pumpkin. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we need to fill the troughs. Which, let's go get some more water because we're really low on water. We can eat one berry or two berries. Berries really don't have a lot of nutritional value, unfortunately. There are chickens. The graphics in this game are just really cute, that's for sure. And as you can see, as we walk by the water, we have a fishing option, but we can't do it just yet. We're almost there. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill the water and the food there, okay? Okay, so these folks, this person wants fish, and this one wants uh, eggs, I think, eggs, yes. Okay, let's go to our uh, machine here, produce. Okay, you need carrots or beet to make fodder. All right, so we're going to do fill, and that's going to fill up our uh, our little bag that we're carrying around. Is this the electricity machine? There it is. Okay. Oh, okay, so you have to right-click on those things. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then, you can see I've not played this minigame yet. I'm using kind of a weird mouse today. No, that, okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's why it changes mouse buttons. Right, okay. Or maybe it was always left click. I don't know, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry, it'll be fine. So then the, the cows, oh my gosh, the cows are very upset right now. They have no food, they have no water, they're running around like crazy animals. We have to also collect the poop. Um, let's put the water here, please. There we go. And then we'll get the food in there. And now they're happy. Let's go collect those poops. Later, we're going to get a message telling us that, yes, we need to collect the poop. All right. So we have done pretty much all that we can do on the farm at the moment. Oh, no, no, no. Look, let's see if we can help this person with egg purchases. Let's go and set them here. Go back to our place. Stock eggs. Yes. Are you going to buy those? 
Is that the right? Yeah, it is. It is eggs. They're definitely eggs. Oh, there we go. We sold stuff. Yay! We started off the day, I think, with zero money, and we sold stuff. This is great. So now we're going to go to town. Uh, of course, we could also go and chop some wood and get some apples, too. But there's some cool things in town that I want to show you. So first of all, we have the spin to win. Yay, Wheel of Fortune. So let's spin it, and then we can just stop it. It takes a while to do all of this. Um, come on. Let's go. You've drawn a blank. No! Well, usually you win something. This is the first time I've, uh, that has happened to me. Your animals are hungry. You have to feed them or they won't be productive. I, I fed them. Thank you. Maybe I didn't feed the chickens. Anyway, this looks like a shop. It is a shop. It's the smith, as you can see down here. So we can go in here. The shop seems to be open 24 hours a day, which is very, very nice. Here, we can go ahead and upgrade our various tools. Um, we can upgrade them, uh, the generator, water bucket, axe, and sword to make them do more uh, stuff. Can I... When I first came in here, there was a quest, and I don't know why I don't see it. Nope, I just keep getting the store, so maybe it's it only pops up at certain times, I don't know. Anyway, there's also a store out here, which is a very, very nice. And we can talk uh, to this lady here who has upgrades also for the fodder bag and the fishing rod, which we don't have yet. Now, it's important to note that this uh, is an upgrade. This is not actually the fishing rod. So if we upgrade this with a little bit of money, uh, fish are caught faster. We don't actually have the fishing rod. We're going to get it um, on one of the quests from our grandpa. So we have to wait for that. But anyway, it's all good. Hi, Sven. Hello, Catherine. Take care of your customers' needs and they will come back more often. Cool. Who's this? That's Horst. How's life on the farm? I envy your living with the cattle. <laughs> that sounds very peculiar, I have to say. I'm not exactly living with cattle. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and chop some trees. Let's see if we can earn a little bit of money selling wood or something. Come on. Getting wood and apples. Nice. Yeah, if you win apples on that spin to win, you get like 10 apples. It's crazy. Nice. And of course, these, um, the squares, they're kind of, they become impassable. So I think the, the game is, is definitely has borders that you cannot really go past. I'm going to go explore a few of those borders soonish. But I would like to get this wood going. Oops, sorry. There we go. Let's go and eat this here. Wow. Oh, you want milk. I don't have any milk. Sorry, lady. All right, and as you can see, our crops are growing and they kind of grow uh, over time. Oh dear, excuse me for that. I forgot to turn off my, yes, I actually own a fax machine. <laughs> okay, so as I was gonna say with the Fruit Ninja game, um, you you fill up this circle and that's one log because at first i was like why isn't it going for every log i hit i thought it was a bug or something but it doesn't seem to be it just seems to be you have to hit three logs per each amount of firewood that you generate so though sometimes i have to say you kind of like go across the log and it still doesn't work come on there we go And I'm guessing cutting the apples ruins it. Though it would be nice to do the cutting the apples just for sale. Because you could like make a fruit salad or something. There we go. We have 15 logs left. No, no, no. That log just did not want to be cut. Man, they're like ninja logs, some of them. No! There we go. 
Ah, that was good. Got it right underneath the apple. Yes. Woohoo. Cool. All right, we're good. Close. Now then, good. We can eat some apples, I think. We'll press two for that. There we go. And just fill up our hunger bar so we don't die off. This would be very inconvenient to die on the first day on the farm. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and stock our apples here, and then we'll also stock the logs. There we go. All right, and we'll leave one set of berries for the morning. And let's go ahead and go in and sleep. So our energy is getting really low, and there's not actually much to do until the crops grow. we got to get that going. sleeping late into the morning there we go new day begins all right we stole one good in the store we've completed three tasks no fields harvested two animal production 12 trees felled and 35 chopped wood good we didn't chest pleasant plunder any chests all right we're gonna have to work on that i think okay it's tuesday hi so you really are back do you remember me it's Fronica. i'm happy that you're back i'm currently working as a mail carrier I envy you. I would like to work on a farm, especially with the animals. I gotta go now. Deliver the remaining mail. See you later. Oh, don't forget to pay the city smith and shop a visit. See, we already did that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Right. So here are our crops. They're looking okay. They're not ready for harvest yet. There's going to be a little uh, icon above them when they are ready. If you're interested in fishing, consider visiting my old friend Roman. He's living in a hut south of here, just down the road. And he has new tasks for us. Okay, so visit Roman in the south, go fishing, and plant cabbages. All right, let's do that. Mysterious. Strange noises have been reported coming from a house in Lowald. Our team is investigating. Stay tuned. All right. Strange noises, huh? That's pretty interesting. Okay. Let's get water. Get another egg. I'll just put these things in... Uh, in the store for now. There we go. Alright, and oh, cows are ready to be milked. Check that out. You can sometimes milk them from across the fence. Yeah, there we go. But we do have to go inside to pick up the poop. So, that's alright. Oh my god, and I got an achievement. <laughs> there ain't no poo, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I'm going to right now put the milk in the store. There we go. Just in case people want to buy. This guy's already waiting for fish. He knows of my grandfather's quest, clearly. I'm going to visit Roman in the south. And uh, and see how that's going to go. I'll pick probably those on the way back when I'm hungrier. Oh, there's more berries. How nice. Free food. Yay. I happen to know Roman is down this way. There we go. Hello there. Do you remember me? I'm an old friend from your grandpa. I'm still living and fishing here. Here, let me hand you this fishing rod and show you how it's done. First, we have to cast the bait and apply the correct strength. Otherwise, the fishing line will break or we won't hit a good spot. Then we have to watch the floater. When it wobbles hard, the fish has been hooked and tries to escape. The last step is to follow the fish's movement and not let him escape. So we're looking for this animation, which is very visible. Thank goodness. Now it's your turn. Have fun. All right. Okay. Ooh, nice. Green cast first. That little thing does go back and forth. I'll show you next time. Come on. There we go. Okay, so this is very Stardew Valley-like. Uh, except it's not as floaty. Um, I kind of got used to stardew fishing. Uh, and this one also doesn't seem to have a time limit on catching a fish. So as you can see, this thing will bounce back and forth so you can get a better, hand <laughs> better handle on it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's okay. No worries. We're fine. Okay. There we go. Oopsies. We want to catch all the fish that Grandpa wants us to catch. It does kind of, um, yeah, very Stardew Valley-like. You have to keep pressing it to go up, but it, it goes up at such a rate that you might um, go too fast, for example. So it kind of like goes up and down. Alright, let's 
go here. Yeah! Alright, I want to catch five fish altogether. I, I don't know if going fishing is catching... I think it must mean catching five fish instead of uh, just attempting five fish. Because <laughs> I know I failed in um, when I was... Uh, just checking out the game a little bit earlier, I uh, I failed a couple of times where, well, I failed the the cast basically, or I pulled pulled nothing out of the pond. Oh, vendor, twenty five items sold. So that's obviously from this game and the last one. Not just this one. Wow, my food has oh hungry. I am hungry. Fishing is hard work. It's very easy when it's just on the bottom like this, though. I have to say. <laughs> Is it not going to move at all? Wow. Very impressive. <clears throat> yes. All right. There's two four berry bushes on the way home. Uh, alternatively, we can eat fish. Uh, there's a... Uh, one of the people in town mentions that... Um, fish is a good source of protein. And indeed, they do give you a lot of food. So... I got an achievement called Chuck Berry. <laughs> That is funny. Okay, for, I guess, gathering 50 berries. All right, so this these berries are available. Hello, cows. Guess I can go and just pick up the poo here. Kind of glad we don't have to um, do anything with this poo. But the trees grow back very fast, as you could see over there, briefly. Aw, person was disappointed. She looked very sad. All right, let's go see if our crops are done yet. Yes. Oh, they need to be watered. No, I forgot to water them. Well, to be fair, they didn't have the water symbol above them earlier. Kind of wish I could have watered them before I went fishing, though. I guess I could have come back to the farm to go fishing, because you can farm at the edge. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what? Before we go get those... I want to get water so I can easily... Oh, there's an egg. How nice. Any more eggs? Yes, there's an egg here. Oh, nice. There's some love happening there. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go and plant some stuff. Uh, so we have carrots. We need to plant two cabbages. Let's change this to cabbages. One. Okay. There's the two cabbages. Now I'd like to plant something else, like maybe tomatoes. Because so I want to have a variety of foods that I can offer people. Uh, the next one. Maybe beets? Yeah, let's go with beets. Okay, these aren't done yet. We'll have to wait on those, but I would like to convert all of the carrots into fodder. That's going to be pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's pro produce those guys. Oh, ran out of energy. All right, let's fill our bag of food so we can fill our animals when we go to their pens next time. Let's go and produce some more energy real quick, and we can watch those cabbages as well. Oh God. Uh, okay, I have to choose a different mouse. <laughs> I'm using like a pen click mouse and it doesn't work very well. Also, I'm very highly dyslexic, so this is a very bad game for me. If it told me in advance like how much which one which mouse button to click, it would be easier. But um, that's okay. We're managing it mostly. Oh, nice. Okay. Good. I'm a generator achievement. Interesting. So this game seems to have a lot of uh, simple, easy achievements, which can be nice and friendly. Looks like we're good. Oh, we need food here. Let's fill food. Whoopsies. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to you, chicken. Okay. Water. No. Ch chick. Chicken. No. Please. There we go. There we go. And food. Okay, good.
Let's go and eat. I still have three carrots left. I guess I can put them in my... You know what? Let's just take them. Look, look at the food machine thing. Produce. Okay, fill. I still have one carrot left. Okay. Let's put that one carrot for sale. Okay. I just anything that I have in here, I just want to sell them. Okay, cool. The Oh yes, we need to feed the cows too. The cool thing is you can feed them from beyond the fence. There we go. Is this... Oh my gosh. It takes all of the food you have. I don't know if it overfills it or if it just fills it up enough. That's kind of scary. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to lose all my food that way. All right, it's uh, quite late at night. Let's go to bed then. Let's see what this planning table is. What is that? Plotting table. Oh, hello. Oh, you can buy stuff. Buy grass, buy a chest, fields. Well then, I did not know this. Also, you can do buy um, more gates. Let's buy some fields. Like, we definitely need more fields. Okay, I can't afford it. Okay, save. Cool. Yeah, we definitely need this. Okay, cancel. We just want to save. And then exit. Yes. Okay, I think that's right. While we're there, we might as well come out the door. Planned all this before tomorrow so that when we wake up, something will be made. Alright, so definitely want to have carrots growing at all times. Then we'll do some more beets. I think pumpkins take a long time to grow. They seem to be more expensive than the other crops. Okay, tomatoes too. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, great. So, let us go to bed. And I think this is probably a good time to end the episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.